Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of how to submit videos in, through Canvas Studio. So we're going to have two ways that we do this. One will be through an assignment, and you always see the little paper and pencil on assignments, and one where we do this through a discussion. Either way, the interface is basically the same, but I'll do both just in case. So I'm going to start with the assignment style. So I'm going to click on the assignment. I'm going to click Submit Assignment. And then in the text entry box that comes up, sometimes if your screen is small, you won't see all the options. So wait, let me get, say your screen is kind of small, you won't see all the options here. But if you click this three dots over here, you will get to this little TV with tentacles is the way. I, I don't know, to me it always looks a little bit like an octopus or a squid or something. But that's the Canvas Studio icon. So either it will be inside this more menu, right, with the three dots. And then if your screen is big enough, it will also show it. I'm actually going to get rid of some of those extra menus. It will show it there, but it's pretty far down the list. So often you will have to click this little extras thing to get more items. And it's always this little guy right here. That is Canvas Studio. So you're always going to submit the same way. It's always going to be Canvas Studio. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to get a window that opens up. And then I'm just going to record the video right into that window. I'm going to do webcam. Here I am. Hello. And for guitar, of course, I'm going to make sure that both my hands are visible. Right? Maybe play a note or two to make sure the audio is working. All right, I got both my hands in the, in the... Cool. So my guitar is there. I'm going to start my recording. Cool, here's my guitar. Woohoo! Cool, I got both my hands in the view. Cool, and I'm all done. And I'm gonna put my guitar down, hit finish. Nice, I've got a little video here. I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna upload. So that guy's all done. It looks like it's processing, but it still lets me, so if I hover over the one that I want, I can select it by clicking on that guy. You want comments, because I'm going to be able to type comments on there, most likely, which will be nice as your instructor. And then it's a little hard to see right now because student view, but this button says embed. right? And for some reason, I can't. Here, let me zoom out a little. There we go. So now I can see it says embed. So I've selected the video. And then I've got to scroll down inside this little window, select, click embed. Cool. And then the video will show up there. And I'll be able to add all kinds of cool comments that are linked right into the timeline of the video. And then you just click submit after you get that video showing up there. And then I'll be able to, and it'll say, you'll see resubmit assignment if you've already submitted a video. So you'll know that you've turned something in. And then uh, you'll get comments from me or from your classmates or however it's going to work. So let me just show you real quick how that same interface shows up, but when you're in a discussion. So if it's a discussion that you're doing, I basically just have the same prompt here, just so it looks about right. So there's no submit assignment button, as you might notice. But if you click the reply button, you will get the exact same text-based kind of interface, right? We call this the rich text editor. And again, if the screen's small, you might not see all the icons, and you'll have to click the little skinny snowman over here. Right? Or if the screen's wide enough, you can just click right on our little squid over here, the Canvas Studio icon. So I'm going to click on it again, and you'll see there's the video I've already recorded, but I'll record another one from here just, just in case. So record, webcam. Here I am again. I'm going to start recording because I'm happy. I'm going to be able to see my hands, I think. Woohoo! And then finish save, maybe give it a title uh, in that save moment just so you're able to find which video you want. It, I think it always puts the most recent, well it looks like date added, so if this filter is on date added it will always show the most recent one at the top left. So I'm going to select my most recent one and then allow comments is a good idea and then embed. And now I've added that as a discussion and then I just post reply. And I'm done. I've added myself as a quick little video 
submission to our discussion. And then when you do have other students' uh, videos in here, you can click reply to comment on them. And you will always want to reply to at least two other students when you do this, right? So in all our assignments, at least, we're going to have two reply or slash comments to your classmates. And that means you find their video, you watch it, and then click reply and tell them how awesome they did or some constructive criticism, perhaps, but mostly supportive things. Anyway, hope that makes things really clear and easy. Uh, we're going to use Studio for the entire semester, so only submit in that fashion, please. Okay, all done. See you all soon.